with 81 million dollars uh, being stolen from the Bangladeshi Central Bank, uh, with uh, 1.2 million euros being attempted to be stolen from a Vietnamese bank, um, and with one single malware called the No Pete Ransomware uh, causing a damage of $200 million from one single company. And when you know cybersecurity incidents make the mainstream headlines on mainstream media, then you know it's serious. Um, today, um, with the adoption of cloud, big data, um, and of course the proliferation of IoT devices, um, what happens is there is a urgent need to digitally transform yourself. And therefore, companies are racing to be the first one in their industry or in their nation to adopt technology. And often, more often than not, cybersecurity becomes an afterthought. And that's where the risks lie in organizations today. We often uh, call ourselves the societal security provider. And people always ask why. Because I think at the center of security uh, is the people. And that's where a lot of our services are focused on. So we've got several divisions of our services and targeting specific areas. One, of course, the GRC services, governance, risk and compliance, touching the processes and standards that organizations need to comply. And then we've got the operational uh, security, which covers the technology that companies use. Um, and then we've got incident response that covers incidents. And in the event of an unwanted incident, then they will reach out to our computer forensic team. And the last, but I feel the most important, is capacity building. And that's focusing on the people aspect of cybersecurity. So that's where our entire service is modeled. Uh, people, process, technology, and of course, in the event of an incident, we're always there as the SWAT team. As a Kati Consulting, what happens is we've got a different set of strategies for a different line of business. And um, currently in our locations that we're currently in, um, we're, each location is a center of excellence for a specific area of uh, service. Uh, starting off from the governance, risk and compliance, that's an area that we feel that um, cuts across globally. There's there's always a compliance uh, regulation that a company has to abide by no matter which country they're in. And then there is operational security is becoming a big area in a lot of countries. And this is things like penetration testing, security code review, managed security services, security operations center outsourcing. And that's basically what we really focus on in the developing nations. We see that there's a huge demand in this specifically because a lot of organizations see cybersecurity efforts as a costly effort. And we are there as their trusted advisor to ensure that cybersecurity doesn't have to cause a hole in your pocket. Um, and um, that means quality comes um, you know, at an affordable price. The third thing that we also look at in terms of expansion is on capacity building. And I think that there is a talent crunch in the industry and that's where we are focusing a lot on the Akati Academy and, um, and that is an area that we are looking at uh, spending a lot of time in the developing nations as well. In 2018, um, I, there are a lot of events uh, that, that happens globally on cybersecurity and specifically some of the places that we would probably be looking at would be Australia, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, uh, Mexico, um, and of course in the UK. And these are some of the areas that we are focusing um, in 2018. Uh, in terms of new locations that we're expanding, we are having the Australasian market in, in our horizon and North America um, as our next office that we're looking at. Um, all in all, um, this year has been a very, very um, active year for us. We've set up two new SOC security operation centers and two more being planned uh, so that we could follow the sun. Um, and next year is going to be even more promising with new uh, locations that's going to be open to represent our services.